Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com. Welcome to another Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique where I take you through one of your websites, give it a critique, tell you what I think, what I like, what I don't like, things that you could do to make it better. That's what I do, but I want to remind you, if you haven't checked out Squarespace, please go to squarespace.com slash fro to get a 14-day free trial. You can also click the link down below. I personally use it for jaredpoland.com. I love it, and let's see which site we have this week. So I'm going to go back to where the site starts and all right, we've got kevinkramerphoto.com. Uh, here's the images right off the rip. Uh, I guess they're wedding photos. Um, I, okay. So one of the things I'm having trouble with right off the bat is one, how do I enter the site? Uh, I'm seeing distractions down here. Like I've got Kevin Kramer photography. I've got Kevin Kramer photography. I've got Kevin Kramer. It's you know, like all over the place and it's kind of distracting. It's hard to read what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. Enter website or party booth. I mean, I want to go to the party booth, but let's enter the website to start. So here we have welcome. And I guess welcome is where it takes you. So you can see uh, a slideshow of what's going on. And then I'm going through and I'm hitting left or hitting right and I'm seeing the images. And then I, and each one of them seems to have a watermark on it. Though it doesn't take away from the image, it's underneath the image. But then I get to the next one and the next one and there are no watermarks on it. So there's nothing, it's different. Why is it different? I don't know. Um, right off the bat, before I talk about the watermark, I wanna say that the site looks clean. I like the Kevin Kramer photography. It's a clean thing. I love the line that's said here. It separates the Kevin Kramer from photography. It's bold, it works well. I'm having trouble reading the Drexel Hill and this stuff right here, so maybe change the font there to something, not the font, the color, so I can read it. We got welcome, portfolio, packages, party booth, blog, info, contact me, and we've got this thing right here. So let's talk about the watermark in the bottom corner. Do you like it? Do you not like it, guys? Out there, what do you think? Now. I'm not a big fan of putting the watermark on my page because this is already your website. It already says Kevin Kramer Photography at the top. Why do you need to keep punching people in the face with it uh, time and time again? Now, if you want to choose to use it, that's up to you. But I saw a couple of images that didn't have it or have a different watermark. Either stay consistent with it with, with having it or don't have it at all. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's personal preference. I'm not sure that I like the, the white border and the, and, and the black line that goes around it and, and then the Kevin Kramer in the bottom every time, but that's me. If you like it, Kevin, then you stick with it. You go with your gut and what works best for you. That's up to you. I'm just giving my opinion on it. So here we go. Let's get into portfolio. So we got to the welcome part. Um, we have weddings, portraits, engagements, and client proofing. I'm sure I can't get into client proofing. That launches a smug mug, which is what a lot of people do. Uh, I do recommend doing that. I like Squarespace for the site building capability. I think it's so much easier to do than using smug mug to build a website. But you can integrate smug mug and Squarespace together. There is a plugin that Squarespace has for that. But if you're going to sell proofs or you're going to sell things to wedding clients, the way that Smug Mug has built what they have built works really well. So that is an option that you can look for for that. But I still use Squarespace for the website. Let's look at the wedding portfolio. So we've got this. Look, what I don't get here is why is the black line here? But underneath it, I still see some of the image. I, I don't like the way that looks like looks in the photo. And I don't need to see Kevin Kramer photography down here. So my opinion is I would get rid of that altogether. So we're cycling, we're cycling. I, I like it. It's fine. You know, the images look good. I think I shot a wedding here before. I may have shot a wedding there before. Um, you know, the images work. It's telling a story of the day. It looks good. Um, but maybe I'd like some more information about weddings here. Maybe a little paragraph or something underneath that's saying, hey, these are the weddings. Do you want to find more information about booking or book your wedding or more information? Especially if your goal is to get weddings, then I would like to see something that instead of follow me, well, follow me is good because you can get to your social links, but I would try to put something in here that says, hire me, book me, find me, get more information, something along those lines. So let's see what the portrait portfolio looks like. See, I love the grid view. I love this because I can simply click on the one that I want to see, and then I can cycle through with the arrows. It's just intuitive, and it works. That I like. Let's look at the next one. We've got engagements. 
And there you have that as well. But again, some images with, oh no, you gotta get rid of that watermark. If you're gonna have this, like if you had to choose between two, I would take this over the other, but why, oh why, is there a black line and then the image is through it? I, I don't like that line going through it. I did shoot a wedding here. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. I don't remember. But here's what I'm saying is I like these two for portraits and engagement. Why isn't it consistent through the weddings? Why is weddings this and portraits the other? I personally am drawn to this because I get to see the images smaller and they go, oh, I like this photo. Wow, look at the trees. And they're like, bam, I'm in it. And then I can cycle through and see it. I like this type of page better. Packages, let's look at wedding packages. Philadelphia Drexel Hill wedding and portrait photographer. Wedding starting at 1500 and portrait starting at 170. Also have a photo booth. I mean, I also have a photo booth, AKA a party booth. I mean, also have a photo booth is just like not a sentence. Um, for your event, also have a photo booth. Yeah, I, I don't know that that works to start a sentence. All right, so that's fine. And, but then we get down to the packages. I'm not gonna read, you can read, I take pride in creating unforgettable Im images that evoke emotion. That's all good. Uh, evoke beauty, emotion. Okay, that's great. That's fine. I don't know that I'm a big fan of posting pricings. Actually, I do know. I am not a fan of posting pricings for weddings at all or portrait sessions on my website. I don't, I, I like the starting at portion. I like saying starting at $1,500 because that gives somebody who's looking just to price something a starting point. It starts at $1,500. Now they're questioning, what do I get for $1,500? Don't list everything they get. Say starting at $1,500 with packages that vary depending on options. Different options are X, Y, and Z. Don't put pricings there. Put a call to action for people to contact you. You want people to email you and then you want to get them on the call. Your job as a photographer who's looking for the wedding is to be a salesperson. You have to make the sale. Th there's no way around it. Photography is fun and it's great, but if you don't make money doing it, if you're looking to make money because you can't make the sale, then you're not going to be a photographer for too long. I know it sounds harsh, but it's the truth reality of it. If people are just going to email you and say, what are your pricings? You can't email them back and say, well, my prices are this. You say, you could say they're starting at X, but I can't give you pricing. Not that I can't give you pricing, but I need to know some more information before I can give you a price. You need to know when is the wedding? Where is the wedding? Are they interested in albums? Are they interested in engagement shoots? Are they interested in X, Y, and Z? You need to know, you need to qualify people a lot more before you just say, well, my prices are this. So what you're doing here by putting your prices online is not giving yourself a chance to make the sale. You're giving people the ability to come to your site and go, nah, too expensive. Nah, don't like the package. Instead of saying, reach out to me, and then you on the phone could say, yeah, I got a package that may fit for you, may fit for your needs, what is your budget? Then they tell you your budget and you say, well, the package that I have is really $3,750. You have $3,400. You know what? I can make that work for you. I can make something work for you. That's your job as a salesperson is to make it work for the client to make them say, you know what? I want to work with this guy and I want to spend $3,400, $3,500 or more for this person to shoot my wedding. Make the sale. Get people on the phone. Don't give pricing on your website. I'm sticking to that tried and true. Also, it says here, prices do not include sales tax. You have to remember, if you're Philadelphia or Pennsylvania and you do a wedding in Delaware, you do a wedding in Virginia, do a wedding in, in New Jersey, you don't have to collect sales tax. Now, personal preference of mine was to bake the sales tax into my price. So it just seemed like all inclusive. So instead of going, like when you go to the hotel and they're like convenience fee, or in my opinion, inconvenience fee, where they tell you that it's an extra $15 for internet, you're paying for pool towels. It's like, give me a freaking break. Include it. Don't even like say, you know what? And tax is already included. Because what happens, the worst thing that can happen is somebody has a budget of $37.50. And then they're like, oh shit, I now need to give an extra couple hundred dollars. Yes, we know that we fa we're faced with taxes all the time and you buy a car, there's taxes. You buy a product, there's taxes. But when somebody has that budget for their wedding, if you can make it one less, one less harsh thing to book that wedding, you may have a better opportunity to do it. Oh, by the way, that $37.50, it includes the tax. I'm taking care of that for you just because it makes it easier. Do something like that, but build it into the price a little bit. And then you can just finagle around from there if you need to, if they don't have the budget to meet that. 
You can remind them that, by the way, you're not paying tax or I've already, I, I'm taking care of the tax. Instead of saying it's built in or something along those, those lines, just say, I'm absorbing that. It's already there into the cost. We're good to go. Add-ons, perfectly fine, but you don't need to say additional photographer $300. That's like you're devaluing the photographer that you're, you're there. Have the, oh, and then packages. It says ultimate package with albums. Ultimate package. I guess that's ultimate package without albums. Ex extended package and basic package. You know, for the people that are cheap that don't want to spend a lot of money, you're just basic. I don't like putting names on packages because I just, I just like gold, silver, bronze. It's just one's better than the other. It's just like, here they are. Here, the, here's, but I don't list packages to begin with until you talk to somebody on the phone, then you give them all the information. All right, so there's a video down here. That's nice. I'm not gonna click it. Okay, I'm gonna click it. It's here. Uh, canned music, Kevin Kramer photography. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's right down the street from my house. I know where that's at. That's Festival Pier. Okay, so that the video is here. I, I love the video. I love the fact that there's a video here. I put that up at the top. I want people to watch that. Actually, I don't put that at the top. I put that below the packages where it is, but I probably get rid of this junk right here. Uh, this big thing at the top is detracting from everything that I'm trying to get across to the clients. That's taking up too much space above the fold and they got to scroll down to get to the wedding packages. Put the stuff at the top. Have a demonstration. I love, I love making an EPK. Hey, my name's Kevin Kramer. Uh, I'd love to shoot your wedding. I love shooting weddings. I have packages that I can make work just for you. Contact me using the form down below and I can work out a custom package that fits your budget. We have packages starting at $1,500 and they go up from there. So you're making the first sale, you're, you're personable in a video. Then you show your stuff, use video to your ability. That's awesome, love the video at the bottom, but I don't like the rest of the, the packages. Um, all right, party booth, yay. Uh, party booth is cool. Uh, there's pricing, gold package, silver package. Hey look, social package. We didn't wanna call it bronze. I don't mind putting pricing here for the party booth. That's not a big deal because that's just one of those things where you set it and you forget it. It's not like it takes too much skill to set it and forget it. It's just an added value for money. But if somebody's coming to you for a party booth, definitely fine to have pricing there. But another thing is it could say party booth starting at X, get them on the phone, make the sale. Let's take a look at the blog and then we'll keep moving through here. Again, clean site, liking it. So we've got a blog April 6th. So that was two days ago. That's not bad. I'm scrolling. So I see these images, guy got glasses. What am I looking at? I'm looking at a lot of photos with a lot of Kevin Kramer photography punched me in the face. Just so many photos. Where does it end? I'm still scrolling. Is it the same wedding? No, that looks like a different bride. That's a different groom, but it's the same blog post. Why are we putting 800 images into this blog post? I'm still going, I'm still scrolling. This is like, this is killing me. And then is there another, it's that time of year again. Let me, what, uh, so that's February 24th of 2000. So look, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a blog, you gotta keep it up to date. You do, every couple days, even every week, once a week, put up a new photo. But don't have a scrolling photo. Like, look at this. I gotta scroll all the way back. To, I don't even, how do I get back to the top of the page here? I gotta pull that thing all the way up. What happens if I click this? It takes me to this, which is fine. So look, show a couple of images, one or two images, because what I like to do when I get to a blog is scroll down the page and see what the titles tell me. In this case, I got one title, and then I scrolled all the way to the bottom after going through 700 images, and I finally got to another post. Click on it, and then take people to another post. Have the add more tag or something like that. I'm sure Squarespace has that option for the blog. Just can't have 87 photos doing that. That's what your portfolio's for. I don't like that infinite scroll. That's just way too much. All right, back to the top. Info, oh my God, there's lots of info. We've got about Kevin, frequently asked questions. Wedding packages again? Wedding formal shot list? Why is the final details? Well, why do we need a shot list here? No, this is something that you send them privately after the fact to sign up for after you've booked them. This isn't something that you put public. And wedding packages, why, why is this different? Is it the same video? No. It's different music. Why do we have different videos here? So that's where I'm, I'm thrown off right now. Um, we've got two places for packages, two places, well, two paces for that. I don't know why we have both. This uh, info thing should just be the about me. It should just say about. 
or info. And then you can click on it and it's Kevin. It says, Kevin Kramer is an award-winning photographer located in Drexel Hill, PA. I love Wawa coffee. Well, which is it? Is Kevin Kramer or is it I? Third person or not? First person. So you have to decide. I don't care which way you go, but stick with it. You're either Kevin is something or Kevin are something. You know what I'm saying? You know, Kevin is a great photographer. I am a great photographer. You're not going to say that. You're going to say, I am an award-winning photographer. I love Wawa. I would probably put in here more about your weddings because you're looking for weddings and just be like, I love this. I love my family, so on and so forth. Give a personal story about why you like shooting weddings. Uh, awards. Instead of listing awards like this, Put seals. They're graphics, not actual seals that are like, oh, 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 oh. not seals, but like, boom, seals, graphics that say award winning, stuff like that. That will draw people more to it when they see it instead of just text like this. I would add, whoa, there's more. Here's what's in my bag. No, no, there's no reason to do this. There's no reason to post your, your bag. You can say you shoot with all, prof I use all professional gear, have all the lenses to get the jobs done, have backup equipment and insurance to make sure that when I'm shooting your wedding, if anything does go wrong, I am prepared. You know, but don't list your gear. There's no reason to list your gear. Absolutely none whatsoever. It's also advertising with, hey, come steal me. Not that I think that's going to happen because I put all my gear out there in the world. And by the way, make sure you have lens tag, especially when you're a wedding photographer, in case somebody walks away with your lenses that were in your bag that you let sit there. Change up the info. Uh, it's a little too much. Um, contact me. Okay, we got contact newsletter. Why is newsletter, I guess it's under contact me, but if you're not going to keep up to date with your blog, why are you asking for the newsletter? Testimonials. I would do away with this testimonial thing and get real testimonials from your brides and grooms. Put their photo up, put their testimonial. Put up a testimonial, put up a photo. Something like that instead of this. I mean, this is fine. Put that under it. And this is a seal. This is what I'm talking about. Put one of these on that other page that's like award-winning, couple's choice. That's great. Um, contact. So then we've got the contact here, which is perfectly fine. And that brings us to the end of this critique. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's another Squarespace rapid fire critique. Kevin, I think you're doing a great job, but it's about making that sale. Get those people on the phone because you have great prices for your packages. $1,500 to almost $4,000, you are priced in almost everybody's price range, whether they're looking for an inexpensive wedding or more extravagant wedding. You are the guy that can do it, and you have add-ons of the party booth to do that with. So. You know, I think you're off to a great start. Just make some of the tweaks that I talked about, and that is where I'm going to leave that. So that's another Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique. Click the info button if you want to see some other Squarespace Rapid Fire Critiques. And if you haven't tried Squarespace or you're looking for a solution for your own website, you can't go wrong going to squarespace.com slash fro. They have been a big part of a partnership working with me. You sign up for them. That helps me out. They give you a discount. It's a cyclical thing. It helps us all. So go to squarespace.com slash fro get your 14 day free trial and if you decide that it's for you please use the code fro to get 10 percent off your first year that brings the price down to eight bucks a month and if you sign up for a year at once they give you a free domain name that's 12.99 for the first year so you're saving another 13 bucks right there i personally use it for jaredpoland.com i love it uh, I don't leave home without it it's not american express it's squarespace and that's it jaredpolandfronosphoto.com See ya.